Hey, Anthony. Hi, Justin. Let's play Some the, blo blo the Blockheads. The blockheads. Yeah. I, so this game came out a couple months ago. We're going to do a single-player game. We'll get you in here soon. Yeah, Justin and Ant Forever. That's the name of our Aww. world. Oh. So the Blockheads came out a while ago, but I just kind of started getting into it. And I am more hooked on this than any like Minecraft-style game than I've been since Minecraft. That's pretty... That's pretty good praise. I mean, I guess I liked um, I liked Terrarium a lot. Terraria a lot too. I liked the, the classical music. Yeah, I mean, they're using a lot of uh, like a uh, fair use music, I, or you know, stuff where they basically there are no more rights to it. Yeah. But it actually, it's you would think like I play other games where I'm like, oh, I guess they couldn't afford music of their own. But this, it actually, it just sounds like it works really well. For sure. The way that this works is you tap any, like, open space to move there. And he doesn't, like, he'll pathfind himself. And then you tap, you can zoom in. I'm really zoomed out. So here's the thing. Like, you just tap blocks to uh, to mine them. Okay. I have to do it by hand. So the fr Oh, no, actually, I don't have to. I have a trawl. So over on the left, you have your inventory that you can open up. Okay. And you s they start you with a flint spade and spades for digging dirt. You can queue up actions, and then he'll just perform them automatically, and they don't even need to be in the same area. So it's I can be like, I can be like, dig this, and dig this, and then dig this, and he'll do it in like the order that. In that order, yeah, that's nice. You can untap things to undo those actions. Um, we'll get into some of these details in a sec. Let's get that resource. Get this resource. Um, the digging is a little slow. Part of that's you have your starter spade. I was gonna say, are the resources that are available to you they are they, oh, that's cool how he actually crawls into there. Yeah. Um, are the resources available to you? Are they similar to the type of stuff you might have expected in Minecraft? Like. Yeah, I mean, it's a different it's a different tree, just like every game has its own tech tree. But for sure, like you're digging up, you know, you we're starting with dirt, and then we'll get stone axes, and then we get, uh, um, like, brass and tin. Right, okay, so we smelt metals. Yeah, we smelt metals. And so let's get... Uh, so you need a dirt block to warp in. The, the game cheats a little bit. Like one thing that I really like about Minecraft is that you start with nothing. Yeah, like, literally I, nothing. Literally nothing. You can build a kingdom from it. This game, you warp in a workbench from sort of your starter portal, and then that everything stems from that workbench. So okay. Where should we make our house? Let's. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say there's some trees over there. Yeah, and so like I already like the way that I play this game is like he's placing that workbench. Then I'm gonna be like, hey, come back and grab this orange. Like yeah. So while he, you, it's nice that you. Could you're queuing up orders like an RTS like that. For sure. Like, I'm thinking a couple moves ahead. And so then now you see it's crafting is more like Terraria in the sense that you don't have, uh, you're not laying things out in a grid. You just sure, need it's to just have a materials. recipe. So I can make a tool bench now with one dirt and one flint. So this is a free download. Mm hmm. And the way that it makes its money might frustrate some people. Yeah, that music was I turned crescendoing it down, I turned it a little much. Yeah. Um, so you see that tool bench that took a little while to fill up, and right. you have gems up here, uh -huh. time crystals. Okay, so you can speed things up. You can speed things up, but it's not really like you know a Farmville or a Simpsons. Like this is a game that you can actively play, but it's just if you don't want to wait, you know, eight seconds, you can skip it. And you also find these. You mine time blocks out of the ground. And okay, get, okay. And you get more. So there is the option to do it entirely for free, no problem. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I made another. And so now using the tool bench, I can make, you know, new tools, yada, yada, yada. You're getting the idea. Let's, uh, let's. Yeah, we need some wood. Yeah, let's knock down these trees. And again, like this, this, like when I first started playing this, I'm like, man, this game's slow, but you don't have the tools yet. Like it's the equivalent of like punching. Sure, I mean, if you punch fist. stone in Minecraft, it's agonizing. Yeah. So after this, we'll craft uh, a storage bench and some other stuff. Uh, you know, it starts out very similar to Minecraft and it gets a little bit more different the more that you play. So yeah, that's very slow, right? Yeah, but I imagine it, I mean, if we had an axe too, right? Yeah, so. we'll, we'll go craft an axe. I don't know when the last time you tried to punch a tree out <laughs> of the ground with your hands was. Oh man. Oh, it didn't give me any sticks though, did it? Or did it? Do I have sticks? No, that was weird. Okay, we gotta punch one more tree and then we'll get some <laughs> sticks. <laughs> so the game does a good job of like giving you, it, it, you can. I think you can mine anything with your fists, right? But. If you a, want, but it's going to take a long time. A, it would take forever. And B, if you use the right thing, you get, like, bonus materials. Like, using the the flint spade on the dirt gave me worms as well as dirt blocks. Have you figured out a use for the worms yet? Well, you can eat them uh. if you're desperate. 
But I think they combine, you craft them into a fishing lure. Like so fishing you ha- oh, so you do have to maintain your hunger as well. Yeah, so you will we'll take a look at that while he's doing his shit. Oh, nice. Some sticks. His, his stuff, I should say. Um, you have a health meter, a happiness meter, and it tells you what you want. Eventually, he's going to want a house, but they give you some time to, you know, you don't need to have the house right at the first moment. Right. So now we can craft, uh, well, I don't know what to craft. We'll probably need another flint spade. I was going to say, yeah, we need to start digging, I imagine. And we will need... An axe. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, while he's doing that, the way that I'm usually playing this game is I'm, like, I'm, I'm thinking about what I want to do right, next. Right, so you're, so like, I'm next, like, let's work on the this, shaft. this, you do this. And you can tell him, switch to this tool. Yep, that's what I just did, actually. Like, he's going to do all that with the flint spade now. Right. Um, oh, what's that up there? Looks like a flower? I think it's meat. Like I found a like there's a lot that I don't know. I found a dodo bird <laughs> earlier, and he la- he laid a dodo egg, and I'm like that f- seems important. I'm gonna take that for sure. The cool thing that I remember you telling me about this that interested me about this, uh, because you know, the time thing, right? Especially with a lot of mobile games, is kind of an issue. Yeah. But it sounded cool to me the way that you could dig, you could set all this up, you could set a huge pre-order up, basically pre-order, like, well, orders for what you want him to do, and then you could minimize the game and move on with your life, or just close it and come back. For sure. Like, I was as long as it's it, running in the background. I was reading Reddit last night, and I was popping into the app, like, every five minutes to have him dig out, like, huge areas, and then just leaving. So it's like, I'll, I'll show you an example now, actually. Let's have him dig... Oh, well, not with his hand. Let's equip the flint spade. Dig this stuff. Dig this stuff. And dig down here, too. And now, like, if we were to close the app, like, you can go into another game. We could play a round of Ridiculous Fishing. Um, I'm just going to do this for example's sake. Sure. Like, Anthony, how's your day going? It's going well. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just giving the game a second to, like, oh, yeah, chew yeah, on no, a my couple g- of my games. It's been a great day here at IGN. Working on lots of uh, ups- exciting announcements. Coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> writing about the video games. Yep. Um, so, you know, if you were playing Blockheads, this would be a chance to, you know, do whatever, play another game. Sure. Um, you know, I again, I was just kind of browsing the internet, poking in on the game. And then when you come back, then the game tells you, while you were gone, you know, Justin got three flint, one flaxseed, and two dirt. I don't even know where you got the flaxseed from. Nice. Well, maybe that's what that plant was. Mm, yeah, that could be, actually. Um, uh, night doesn't seem to be especially dangerous so far. I don't know if it's because I'm in a starter area. Like, you do have this portal. Like, maybe that's, like, a safe zone. Um, so I don't particularly, I'm not too concerned that, you know, it's going to be nightfall soon. Um, and I've queued up, like, way bigger orders, and I came back, and it's like, Justin now has 30 stone and all this copper. Like, I just, like, I would explore an area of mineshaft, tap to mine everything, and then just close the app and leave. Yeah, I was just going to say, I could see myself doing this, like, uh, before bed, just queuing up a huge thing and then going to sleep. For sure. And, and, it and it's not, like, this is not, I, I really want to emphasize to people that it might seem like this is some kind of trivial detail, like, it's a convenience thing, but it's really not. Like, it really does change how you play the game. Like, it makes the game more strategic. Like, y- it's more planning than doing. Like, he'll do it on his own. You just have to plan it out for him. Right. And I think that's cool. I think that's very cool. I like the way that he can climb out of uh, shafts and stuff, too. Yeah, like, like he, he animates really funny. Like, I don't think there's anywhere. Like, I was all worried about placing ladders when I was descending into the mine. But he'll, like, hang from the ceiling. <laughs> and, like, like he's – and you saw him crawl earlier. So I'll show you how, like, sort of the basic building works with some of these wood blocks. Okay. Next. Yeah, I mean, that's always what it comes down to, right? The digging is fun, but the reason you do the digging is so eventually you can make an awesome yeah, so structure. So if you, well, actually, maybe we, can we make a door? Do we have the stuff to make one of those? Oops. Nope. Nope. Cancel. Boop. Tool bench. Workbench. It gets a little confusing. You have a lot of workbenches. It's like Terraria in that way where, like, Certain ones, d- each bench yeah. does a different you sort have a, of set of a things. A tool bench, craft bench, woodwork bench, um, you know, and then there's more and more and more as you sort of level up your tech. Um, I don't know how I feel about that part. Like, if there's one thing I didn't like about that game, that might be it. Like, I often feel like I'm clicking on the wrong bench. I don't remember where different things Or if you made. ever make a new house, you have to make, like, seven new things to outfit that house. Sure. And, like, some of it makes logical sense. Like, a furnace should be separate. Uh, you know, and s- but some of it doesn't. Like, I don't understand why I need a separate craft bench and tool bench, for example. Um, so we have the craft bench. There we go. And I also need to make... I definitely need to make a fire. It's getting a little scary. See, I, I'm short on sticks, man. Hmm. I feel like I had a lot more last time. 
Well, maybe the trees were were uh, more. I did have giving. A, I did. I did have a lot more trees, and so now my environment level is dropping. Like he. So I was gonna say you're not so happy right now. No, a a I'm unhappy, and b I'm getting a little bit hungry. We'll eat in a sec. Where'd that workbench go? Craft bench. So with the craft bench, we can make baskets. You can make a camera. You can make all kinds of weird stuff. Whoa. Um, the basket increases your inventory. Like it gives you five slots for each slot. Um. We just need some more wood. Sorry. No, it's fine. We're going to have to explore a little and get some wood. And then, like, we should end this video after he has a bed and a <laughs> and a uh, campfire. And don't make the mistake, like, I put the campfire inside and it burnt my first house down. Oh, okay, Which so the fire does spread. Yeah, like, that's kind of obvious, right? Like, don't don't build your fire inside. Sure, but, but you plenty of video games have taught us that fire isn't really that dangerous. Exactly. Like, you don't know how sophisticated, like, the simulation is going to be. And I couldn't figure out for the longest time how to make torches. Like, you just get so set in, like, the Minecraft way of doing things. I'm like, how do you make a torch? How yeah, do you I make a torch? Yeah, I need sticks and coal. That's what I need. Well, so uh, you just need um, – you do it from the campfire. Like, the campfire itself is a crafting station. Oh. And I'm like, that's really obvious, and it just never even crossed my mind. Um, one thing that you can do – like, the game is free to download, but a one-time uh, $2.99 purchase just doubles the speed – I don't know that it doubles the mining speed, but like crafting anything is just doubled. That's almost, I mean, if it's a free game and you want to support them, that seems like a pretty decent way to do it. Yeah, I mean, I considered that the equivalent of like buying the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and it is kind of luck of the draw in the area that you start. Like, we just don't happen to have access to hardly any sticks. Yeah, Anthony and Justin for world forever world is not so bountiful. Well, we can plant more. Like the food, these oranges that I have, um, they're food to you know help your hunger meter. Oh God, he's exhausted, and he's getting a little bit hungry. Well, we've been running him wild all day. Crawl into this oh. hole. Crawl into this hole. What is that? I haven't seen that before. Are you telling him to attack it? No. Oh no! Yeah, you did. It's a donkey. You hit a donkey. <laughs> I just wanted him to like touch it. Oh. <laughs> well, he did <laughs> with yeah, his fist. He did. So, um, we'll have him plant some of these oranges. Oh my god! What if you can ride that donkey? I think you can. You can. I I actually kind of know you can. That's kind of a spoiler. Sorry, but it's okay. So we'll plant these oranges. Um, will those yield what I imagine they will? A.K. Orange trees. Yeah, for sure. I'm so sorry. Plant. Plant. Um, let's save a couple back. In case You're becoming a little citrus farmer. Yeah, for sure. And then those will grow, and then those will give us the wood that we need. I also see a sunflower there, which is new. Um, I think the game has a system for, yeah, you can meditate and then time fast forwards. And I think that's just for, like, the, at the be in the beginning of the game if you don't have a bed yet. Sure, like, and, and you want to get through the night. It's sort of like the equivalent of when Minecraft added a... Uh, um, that you could make coal from wood. And it used to be like, if you didn't find coal in your first night, you were screwed. And yeah. I think this is kind of like that. Um, he really does need to make a bed, though. Yeah, he's tired, man. Is it from the woodwork bench? I don't even... <laughs> I love how I played this game, and I was like so sure of what I was doing, and then I just instantly forgot it it's all. a lot to take in. So uh, we have the woodwork bench, we have the craft bench, we have the tool bench. Man, how did I make the bed? I never make my bed. Camera, string, carrot on a stick. Yeah, carrot on a stick for the donkey. That's how you, okay. that's how you lure okay, the donkey. Okay. You can eventually make boats. Here's the coffee I was telling you about. Yes. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, Anthony. Which bench? Which of these benches did I not make? If I have craft. I have workbench. Oh, I didn't make woodwork. There you go. Sorry. Okay. Make the woodwork bench, and then that's how you get the bed, and that's that's the aspect that I was missing in all this. And then he starts, you, your character starts getting really upset, and he works slower if he doesn't have any energy. <laughs> I understand. Oh, he's too tired to work. I think I'm in real trouble here, Anthony. Well, I guess, can you rest? Like, is there a way to get up your rest? Yeah, I mean, you sleep, but I didn't make the bed. Right, but I'm saying, is there a way to do it without a bed? Uh, well, we can force him to. We'll cheat this one time around. What are you doing, buddy? Stop. Oh, and my inventory's full. This is going so much worse than the than my round of this game where I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so pick up. Well, because now you're here with an agenda. Yeah. It's also like, you know, I'm talking to you, and it's sort of, you know, uh, see, right. here we go. We can make a bed, and the bed only makes it old. Oh, man. The bed is just solid wood. <laughs> yeah, here we go. And now 
Just sleep on a piece of wood. Then he sleeps. And, like, so you can pay all these gems to, like, skip. But, like, it goes pretty fast, right? Like, yeah. His energy's totally refilling. And time's fast forward. Man, this guy's going to be a night owl. We just slept through the whole day. Our whole sleep schedule is going to be screwed up. It's okay. We'll give him full energy. I was going to say, I mean, he doesn't have to sleep the whole night. It's got a little bit of a Sims vibe, a vibe in that regard, too, that you're maintaining, like, happiness, hunger. Yep. For sure. Strength. Do we have enough to make the the fire yet? I feel like that's like that's when I feel like I've made like a base. Mm, still need more sticks. So we got the bed, Anthony. We're halfway there. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're wandering around in the wild at night. Yeah, I know. This is not ideal. The portal at least gives off some light. That's like the only source of light we have. Yeah. The portal is also, like, I thought that line underneath it was going to be like some sort of nexus or something, but it's just stone. You can mine it. Oh, so then the portal's just there by itself? Yeah. Then it just hangs out. Oh, here's a giant tree. It's cool that there's like a fog of war to the world. Mm hmm. Yeah, it gets revealed slowly over time for sure. And it's like that underground too. Like, you need to, uh,. You know, place torches and stuff, just like Minecraft. Like, that's a problem for games that are 2D, right? Like, how do you accomplish people not being able to see things? Oh, he's so unhappy. Justin would like some more light. I know. We're working on it, buddy. Yeah. We just need you to mine this tree so we can get some sticks. Um... And again, like if this does seem like a little bit slow paced or a little bit boring, again well, we're like not even using an axe. For sure, I was having so much fun playing this last night, but I was doing it like as I was catching up on like my RSS feed and this and that. Like it's the perfect game for that sort of thing. Like, oh wow, yeah. See, we should have just chopped down a big tree to start. So collect all that stuff, and now come back to base, buddy. Everyone. Oh god, Greg's so loud. It's okay. If you guys hear Greg Miller in the background, it's because we record these right in the heart of the <laughs> IGN editorial <laughs> office. Greg's just being a big old jerk talking too loud. Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Miller. <laughs> hey, what's up, Stray Day? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, we're going to make this fire. Okay. And then we'll be good. Okay. And see, he, like, I set that up to run, and now he's, like, slowly making his way back there on his own. I love his animations. Yeah. Again, I just like being able to queue up orders. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make... I'll show you how the like placing the wood works because it's actually pretty cool. Making that fire. Yep. Okay. Got a campfire. Okay. Okay. I can't see in the... Okay. I know. It's dark. Wow. There we go. Yay! Finally. Sleep next to a warm campfire. Uh-huh. I like those nights. Yeah, no, for sure. So if you place wood, then I like that it automatically, like, I thought it was really awkward how Terraria would, um... It had, like, like, a foreground and a background. Yeah, and it would make you use, like, different tools to do the background. Sure. Um, I just thought that was weird, and I didn't think that was, like, for a game that was very clever and very smart, I just thought that was kind of a clunky solution. And so in this game, it kind of does the foreground and background for you. That's nice. Yeah. I don't know why he won't sleep. He's wired, man. He's been a, he's, now he has a, finally has like a preliminary shelter. Yeah, that's actually very true. Well, I want it to be daytime. Um, so you can make doors. See, we're really short on wood. Well, if we do another one of these commentaries, we'll make sure we get a bunch of wood. Yeah, I agree. So, you know, this is the Blockheads. This game, when it came out, um, you know, it didn't get a lot of attention. And here's the thing, Anthony. Like, they added that ability to come back late. Like, that wasn't in the game at all. Oh, see, that's, like, so clutch. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I'm like, this is what makes this game. It's like, I'm just going to set them up to mine these 50 things. Um, if you guys like this video, if you're digging this game, you know, make sure you let us know. We're kind of doing this to, uh, you know, gauge interest. So yeah, I'd like to do more of them. I'm going to give people a little sneak preview of, you know, my private world that I'm working on. My character's hideous. I didn't ever notice how he looked. <laughs> and so you can see, like, things get very, very, uh, like, this is my house. Like, he's got windows. Um, you know, he's got all these it's different a, crafting uh, stations. It's a fairly shoddier than cabin, but not too bad. Well, yeah, but come on. Like, just uh, it compared it to, like, the humble beginnings of what we had a moment ago. Agreed, agreed. And I actually can show you here how 
like the shelters automatically form. Like as soon as you place the block, then see it uh. places a background layer for you. So it's like it's two two or three deep. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So I like the blockheads a lot. You know, I don't know how <laughs> interesting that is to watch. I think it's cool. <laughs> um, Anthony, this is a two-player game, so let's get in and run around the world yeah, together. Yeah, next time. Cool. Thank you, Anthony, for joining me. Thank you, everybody, for listening.